here we are, six months in, and someone once said society is only nine meals away from anarchy, and they were definitely wrong. It was more like three. So as soon as the euro went down, Greece started it off, and then Ireland, Italy, Portugal, all came crashing down. Once the euro had gone, shortly after, the US dollar tanked. Nobody could have known how bad this would have turned out. I mean, I would have thought prior to this that the only thing that could cause this level of chaos would be nuclear war or natural disaster, but uh, this is just greed, just pure, just total greed. There's just absolute mayhem, and it's all caused by people just taking what they could. And there's nothing left. There's no food in the supermarkets. People are resorting to a barter economy. Uh, if you know the right people, you can get food. Most people are hunting for what they can find. Yeah, things are gonna get a lot worse before they get better. Um, so what we're doing is a documentary, a fictional documentary, featuring myself as the central character on an adventure in the United States after a collapse of the US dollar. So uh, in a time of great chaos and upheaval, and our central character will be on a quest, an expedition to find his own personal nirvana, a very real place in the New Mexican desert. Um, this is a place where people have for a long time now realized where we're headed as a, as a society. And they've been preparing themselves and practicing what we know as permaculture, which is a much more sustainable system of living. So it's not the end of the world. There's no 2012 doomsday philosophy behind this program. It's gonna be about people adapting the way they live to survive and to make the best of a situation using less energy, less resources, and less dependence. We won't have the easy availability of resources such as oil, and possibly even things like food will become scarce. So people need to be resilient and resourceful enough to adapt to this way of life. Now, we're looking to make a fictional documentary, a, a documentary about this very thing, this idea that it's possible to live on this planet without having to use up massive amounts of resources. Some people call it permaculture, um, other people might call it sustainability, but what it really is, it's looking at opportunities and ways that we as human beings can live in tune with the planet. I'm not talking hippie stuff, uh, I'm talking practical, real ways that people can just change the way they live. So instead of relying on uh, oil-based fertilizers and uh, massive amounts of energy just to fuel this lifestyle that we've got used to, finding ways to live a comfortable existence without having to resort to using up all this amazing amounts of energy that we've become addicted to in many ways. So we'll also be looking at how we can grow food, including methods of catching rainwater, uh, recycling uh, sewage and things like that in order to generate um, nitrates to fertilize the soil. Uh, we'll also be looking at methods of generating electricity using solar panels. Um, a whole range of amazing, very enlightening ways that uh, we as human beings can uh, adapt to the changing circumstances we face.